What's going on guys, we're back with a brand new video and today we found out some news that Kendrick Nunn will not be back for the Los Angeles Lakers this year, not this season, but this year. So uh, Frank Vogel was asked about Kendrick Nunn's timeline and we all know that he has a bruised bone in his knee, so a bone bruise in his knee, which is a pretty severe injury. Um, obviously it's not as bad as like a torn ACL, but this is a very bad nagging injury that could definitely lead to something worse and is really just not playable on like this is something that you're gonna have to set out for for a while and what frank vogel actually said was he won't be back in the next three weeks which is the rest of the year so he will not be back until 2022 uh clay thompson should be back by then so clay thompson will be back before kendrick nunn which is not really that much of a shocker because we've seen clay thompson scrimmaging and he's going to be like with the g league and stuff like that so he is pretty dang close kendrick nunn though not at all um hopefully he can get back a, a good amount of time before the playoffs like i would say by february hopefully he is back but um it, it seems like it's a pretty severe bone bruise in his knee if he is there's there's not been any talk about kendrick nunn returning anytime soon and if there's not really um any like oh maybe he'll be back next week nothing like that like it, it seems like he's a long long way away which isn't great for the lakers because he was supposed to be their backup point guard going into the season and then they had to figure out something else got rajon rondo from the memphis grizzlies off of the buyout market which was very very helpful and even though rondo hasn't played a ton this year he is still a very good player to have on the team and i'm sure the lakers don't regret that signing whatsoever, but Kendrick Nunn has tweeted. I've seen a tweet where he was like, hey, I'm not even there yet. Like, I know the Lakers aren't doing that well, but like he was like, once we're the, once I'm there, it'll be a different story or something like that. Um, and I'm excited because he did finish second in rookie of the year when he was a rookie, I believe, after going undrafted, finished ahead of Zion Williamson in the rookie of the year voting, uh, just fell short right behind John Morant and has been a very good player off the bench for the Miami Heat in his first two years there. Um, and I believe he even played with the Warriors for a season, a short season. Oh, no, he got signed by the Warriors, didn't play with them, because then obviously he would have been a rookie that year. No, just got signed by the Warriors, didn't play there, played for the Heat, and finished second in rookie of the year voting. So very good player. Um, the Lakers could definitely use him. I think he will be back by hopefully February but he will not be back in 2021, won't be back till 2022. And let's just pray that he's in good shape when he gets back. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and turn notification bells to all. I appreciate all of you guys, and I'll see you guys all in the next upload. Drop a comment down below. Peace out, my friends, and bye.